In this video, you are gonna learn how to create a digital audio network for your worship ministry using the Dante protocol. I'm gonna show you the setup we use at our church and how we use Dante to send audio to and from apps and computers, running Ableton Live, main stage, as well as our front of house mixing console. And we do it all over an ethernet network. I'll show you how Dante can eliminate the need for pieces of hardware like audio interfaces, and it can send high quality audio with very little latency all over an ethernet network. Coming up. <music> My name is Jake Goslin. I'm the creator of churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your ministry. I also want to invite you to check out worshipleaderschool.com or worshiptechschool.com. These websites are membership sites containing online courses, community, and real-time help and support for your ministry. So click the links in the description to learn more. So first, let's talk about why would you want to use Dante in your worship ministry? The primary benefit is simplification. You can drastically reduce the amount of hardware you are using to send audio to and from your different computers and devices in your worship tech setup. So let me explain by telling you a little bit more about the setup we were using at our church before we started using Dante. We run Ableton Live for our tracks rig. We also run Mainstage for our keyboard rig. So those are two separate computers and both of them were each needing their own audio interface. We had one audio interface that had four outputs, another one that had just two outputs. And then we have two more laptops in our tech booth. One runs ProPresenter for slides and video and some audio. And then we also have another laptop, uh, another MacBook Pro running Pro Tools for multi-track recordings. And for our front of house sound console, we have the Midas M32R. So on a typical Sunday morning, we have to do a lot of routing, of sending audio to and from these different devices. What's amazing about Dante is we can just create a local area network consisting of just Ethernet Ethernet cables and switches, which are super inexpensive, uh, but they're able to really send a high bandwidth amount of information super, super fast. So we're able to network all these computers together and we can easily send however many tracks of audio we want from my able to computer to our front of house sound console or from main stage to the front of house sound console if we wanted to we could send audio from the ableton computer to the main stage computer there's just limitless possibilities with this type of setup and now we can also get rid of a lot of the audio interfaces that we've been using actually now we don't use any audio interfaces for our ableton live rig or main stage now that audio signal remains digital and it goes straight into our sound console so we're we're not going from the USB port on the computer into an interface and then out into an analog snake and then into our stage box and then to the front of house console. It's just exhausting explaining that. Now it just goes from the USB-C to ethernet dongle on the computer to the ethernet network and then straight into the sound console. It's all digital. So in addition to having a simplified setup and eliminating those audio interfaces, we actually have better sound quality coming from our Ableton Live rig and our main stage rig because we no longer have the audio going from a digital format to an analog format and back to a digital format. So we've just noticed that both our keyboard rig and our Ableton Live rig, all those audio tracks coming into our front of house sound console sounds so much more clearer. So those are the major benefits and why you would want to use Dante in your worship ministry. So now let's go ahead and dive into the setup. I'm going to cover all the gear and software you'll need to make this happen at your church. And below this video, I'm going to link my worship ministry toolkit containing links to all all of the software and gear I talk about in this video. So you'll know exactly where to find that. Click that link below, tell us where to send the toolkit and you'll receive it right away. Now let's cover the gear you will need for this setup. The first piece of gear you're gonna need, and this is the most expensive piece of gear, but it is totally worth the investment. The first piece of gear you need is the Dante sound card for your front of house mixing console. We got the sound card that works with the X32 and M32 line of consoles. The Dante sound card costs around $600 and fortunately they do create sound cards for all of the various manufacturers of sound consoles. And the reason you need this 
this sound card is for the ability to basically transform your digital mixing console into a Dante enabled device so that when you plug the ethernet cable into that console it's going to show up on the dante network and you can start easily routing audio to and from all the other devices you have on the network and the console itself the next piece of gear you're going to need is a network switch this makes it really easy to create a local area network over ethernet it's not going to work over wi-fi you got to create a local area network uh, using network switches and then ethernet cables unfortunately network switches are are fairly inexpensive we got two of them at $15 a piece we put one at our tech booth and then one up on the stage and that gives us all the flexibility and ports we need to network these computers together then you're gonna want to get some Ethernet cable I recommend getting cat 6 cable and that will work just fine and finally if you have an all Mac ecosystem like us it's gonna be dongle time you're gonna have to get so many dongles to make sure you can go from USB C to Ethernet or Thunderbolt to Ethernet or even USB to Ethernet. Just make sure you have all the appropriate dongles to plug in the Ethernet cables into your computer since they no longer create Ethernet ports on computers anymore. So that's all the gear you're going to need. Like I said, it's a simplified setup. You just need that sound card, a couple network switches, and then enough Ethernet cable to connect everything. And then make sure you grab some dongles. Now let's talk about the software side of things. And this is what I think is one of the coolest parts of this Dante setup. The first piece of software you're going to need is the Dante controller. This is actually a free app you can download from the Audinate website and this allows you to see all the devices on the Dante network and then start routing channels to and from these different devices. The next piece of software you're going to need to get is the Dante Virtual Sound Card. This app allows you to route up to 64 channels of audio to and from whatever computer you have this app installed on. Think of it as a virtual audio interface. And then the third piece of software you'll want to get is the Dante Via app. And this one isn't completely necessary. Definitely just start with getting the regular sound card app and make making sure that takes care of all your needs. But the, what's cool about the Dante Via app is that it can actually send audio directly from applications like ProPresenter to the Dante network. So for our setup, this means we don't have to plug our laptop uh, into our sound console using the headphone jack on the computer, but we can actually send digital audio from ProPresenter straight into our front of house mixing console. So in, we could actually send audio from ProPresenter to, to anywhere else on the Dante network. So lots of flexibility with the Dante Via app. Now I'll walk you through the setup process and what needs to happen to get this system up and running. First, you need to install the Dante sound card for your digital mixing console. This only took me about five minutes to do once I had the right Torx screwdriver to take out the two screws holding in the existing sound card. I was able to take that out and just put in the new sound card in just a couple minutes. Super easy to do. And then it gives me two ethernet ports with this sound card. And I'm really just using the primary one. What's cool about Dante is you can actually create a secondary network if you want to back up redundant system of all your audio in our case it's kind of overkill I think that Dante is stable enough to just go off of the primary network the next step is to make sure you have either the Dante virtual sound card app or Dante via installed on all the computers you want to be putting on the network then using your network switches and your Ethernet cables and your dongles plug everything in make sure it's all plugged in together on that same local area network then your next step is to just go ahead to each one of your computers just do this one at a time first configure the Dante virtual sound card app the way you want your virtual sound card to function how many inputs and outputs do you want how much latency is there going to be then you have to make sure you have your actual local area network selected within the sound card app so it knows where to send all that audio and then you just press the start button in the app and then your virtual sound card is functioning then you can go into apps such as ableton live and you go into preferences you go to audio and you can select the input and output devices within ableton and then you'll see the dante virtual sound card shows up and then you can even configure your outputs if you're going to run them all in mono or stereo or a little bit of both so in our setup we have four outputs coming from ableton live we could route many more if we wanted to but we're just 
deciding to keep it simple for our front of house mixing engineer. So we have on channel one, a click and guide, channel two, bass heavy tracks, and then we're running all of our other tracks in stereo on channels three and four. So four outputs from Ableton Live. Then we did the same thing on our computer running main stage. We opened up the Dante virtual sound card. We selected just actually two ins and two outs because we, we don't need more than that. We selected the lowest latency we can. We selected the right network. We press start on the app and then in main stage, you go to preferences and your audio devices and then you just select Dante virtual sound card as your output. And then the next computer is the one running pro presenter in our sound booth. This one was a bit different. Instead of using the virtual sound card app, we just use Dante Via. Once you have the network selected in Dante Via, then you can select which app you want to enable on the Dante network. So we just selected pro presenter. And then when we look at our Dante network using the controller app, we can see that pro presenter shows up as an option. And then finally, we have one more computer. It's our pro tools rig and this one we're just sending all 32 channels of audio out from our front of house mixing console to the Dante network and then it goes straight into Pro Tools so in Pro Tools we select Dante as our audio engine um, and then we just make sure we have all of our inputs routed to the proper tracks and once you have all these devices up and running and they're on the Dante network then you can spend some time in the Dante controller app making these configurations in the Dante controller app, you're going to see on top a list of Dante transmitters. So these are devices that are sending audio out. And then on the left side, that first column, you'll see Dante receivers. So this is where audio can be routed into. And then you just use their intuitive little grid to say, we want these four outputs from my Ableton Live computer to go into these four inputs on our front of house mixing console. And then we just repeat that same process for all of the devices we have on the network. And here's a quick note about how our routing is set up on our our digital sound console. For the inputs or the audio coming into the board, we have it routed so that we're using our digital stage box. We have a 32 channel digital stage box, but we're only using the first three banks of eight channels, which gets us to 24 channels of inputs coming from that stage box. But then I reserved the last selection for card input one through eight. So we're only using the first eight channels of our Dante inputs that we have for the sound console. And that gives us plenty of channels we need for Ableton Live, Main Stage, and then Pro Presenter. And then here's how we have the card output configured on the digital sound console. So we have the same thing, channels one through 25 on our stage box are going straight to the card output to go into Pro Tools. And then for card output 25 to 32, we're just sending those eight channels from the digital card, the eight channels coming into the digital card. So it's a little hard to wrap your mind around this, but once you start playing within this routing and you start getting Dante up and running, you're gonna see that you have so much flexibility here. Heck, if we wanted to, we could theoretically actually just route audio directly from our Ableton Live rig straight into Pro Tools. Like there's so much cool stuff you can do with this system. So that is my guide to implementing Dante in your worship ministry. Be sure to let us know below in the comments if you're using this system and what tips or tricks or advice you have for getting this up and running as well. And if you want my complete list of software and gear that went into this setup, then download my worship ministry toolkit linked below this video. And if you want to learn more about the latest technology for your worship ministry, then check out either worshipleaderschool.com if you're a worship leader or worshiptechschool.com if you're a worship tech team member. At both websites, we've got online courses, we've got a community of like-minded ministry leaders, and we also have have weekly office hour sessions where we provide you with real-time help and support to help you grow yourself and to grow your worship or your tech ministry. So click the links in the description of this video to learn more and join today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends in ministry. You can check out some related videos right on over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry.